right. Hello. Uh, going old school here uh, with the black and white. So thought it would be a little interesting take. So um, kind of an old school detective show. Uh, so here is what your job in science for the next two days is. Um, the biggest thing on your science work the next two days, take your time. Uh, don't rush it. I want some good quality in-depth work uh, research uh, for you to look into. Don't rush it, please. Don't spend five minutes, find out some quick facts and say I'm done. I really want you to take the time to investigate what's going on with this uh, and put the time and effort in to do it well, not just quick. Because okay? you could probably get this done in 10 minutes, but that's not the purpose of what we're doing. Okay, so what I want you to do is we're going to research four different types of um, chicken eggs, or chickens, sorry, chickens, uh, with the different types of chickens. Uh, and those are the types of chickens that were actually delivered to us uh, for the hatching of the eggs. Um, go on. So your job is to look up one of those chickens, and I'll give you those in a minute, um, and find out all the information you can about it. What makes that chicken unique from other chickens? So here's some ideas that you might want to use. Um, color. What are the colors of that chicken like? How, what's the size? Uh, not only weight, but uh, height. Um, girth, width, things like that. Um, what's the tail like compared to others? Does it stick straight up? Is it pointed at a 45 degree angle? Is it pointed straight out? Does it not really have a tail? Does it have a large tail? A lot of differences that you can look up. Um, are they nice and bearded uh, chickens? Uh, or are they, sorry, <laughs> uh, are they bearded or are they not bearded? Um, the what and again, what is their general appearance like? What is, what makes them different? I found one of the breeds has a more of a hawk-like fe, uh, features uh, than a lot of other chickens, so it makes it unique, which I thought was interesting. Uh, again, any other unique features about that bird, that chicken, that makes it different than just a normal every other day chicken? And then also look up um, egg shape. What, what are the eggs like? What, are they oval? Are they egg-shaped? Are they rounder? Are they brown? Are they blue? Are they white? Are they speckled? Um, so some interesting information. Again, a lot of this I will put in there. Um, and you have a couple of options of what I want you to do um, from there. Uh, so once you have your research all compiled, and again, I would expect you to take about a day. Um, again, I'm hoping 30, 40 minutes of research. Um, that it takes at least for you to look up all about these chicken or a chicken up um, there. If you rush through and get everything done quick, you can always do the second chicken. Okay, um, but spend time once you have it done, all your research is done. You can uh, put it in a slideshow, make me an entire slideshow, full thing. I want the effects. Uh, several slides, put a different thing on each slide, have it titled, have pictures. Um, spend some time on that on the second day. Or uh, the second day, you can shoot me a video presentation all about your chicken and teach me something, teach me about that chicken. Okay? I don't know a lot about chickens, so I'm finding out a lot about chickens this year. So that would be your job is to uh, shoot me a video, giving me a presentation based off that, so you can go through once you find your research, practice it. Uh, but if you want to make a slideshow and then put it into a video, that's up to you. If you just want to do a slideshow and send it, great. That way you don't have to be on the screen. Um, that's up to you. If you want to be uh, shoot a video instead, make sure to practice it first instead of just trying to wing it and have mistakes or forget things so you uh, can be really in-depth and explain things. I just don't want you to be like, it's red, brown, it's 24 inches. Like, Make sure to kind of have that. Uh, done. The plan here at school, what we're going to do, if we are, uh, after researching, we're going to research in groups. They are going to shoot a video of the different groups, uh, basically presenting it, and I'm going to compile videos together uh, for those of the groups here at school, um, and then they are going to also give me questions. So on Monday, your the homework is going to be to watch through the videos for each class, um, and for your class, and I'll compile all four videos together, and then there will be a Google Form uh, homework assignment that will be based off the videos that uh, the people here in school are creating uh, from there. So the work is all 
uh, done by the things, and I'll just compile all of it together and put everything together. So your choice on the um, video or a slideshow. Uh, but the chicken types, and here's what we have. And I'm going to let you guys choose what you want for the chicken type. Um, but these are the four that I was told we have here in our incubator in the back of the room. They are the Rhode Island Red Chicken. So Rhode Island Red. The White Leghorn. The Americana. And that is Americana. A-M-E-R-I-C-A-U-N-A. -A or the Buff Orpington. And I kind of like the Buff Orpington. Uh, I'm not going to lie, just the name of it saying it's kind of cool. So Buff, B-U-F-F, -F, and then Orpington is O-R-P-I-N-G-T-O-N. Um, so again, Buff Orpington, Rhode Island Red, White Leghorn, or Americana. Uh, those are up to you on what you're researching. But again, please spend some quality time on it. Um, do some good detective work. We're doing an old school black and white photo or video here for detective work. So do that. Spend some good time on it. Make sure you research well. I want to know what is different between that chicken and a lot of the other chickens that are out there. There's a reason there's all these different breeds. We're talking variation of traits. So I want to know what variations that chicken has than all the rest of them. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, and this will be Friday or Thursday and Friday's work. Monday, we're, we'll watch the videos of everything put together, and that'll be the homework for Monday. Peace out.